Grace and Peace, I'm Brian Musser, and I'm going to be reviewing this book, Nathan Foster's The Making of an Ordinary Saint. Nathan Foster is the son of Richard Foster, and many of you in the Christian world probably know the Christian classic, The Celebration of Discipline, that Richard Foster wrote. And this is kind of a personal memoir of Nathan's adult life trying to come to grips with the disciplines that his dad is famous for writing about. The best part about this book is it's just an ordinary story about how an ordinary person is practicing these Christian disciplines. Richard Foster puts it this way in his foreword, in Nathan's efforts to describe for us the struggles of an ordinary person in ordinary circumstances, he is careful to share with us the full range of human emotion, anger, joy, fear, ecstasy, exasperation, delight, agony, and more. And this, this is kind of the heart of the book, coming from the first chapter on submission. And Nathan writes this way, For some reason, I was under the illusion that spiritual activities and lessons had to come from books and speakers, that there were special ways that we practiced the disciplines. But they could not come from meeting a strange man riding his bike in rural Ohio, watching birds and giving in to the wind. So this is his journey, his life journey of practicing the disciplines over a year in the circumstances of his life, not becoming a monk, but practicing them in the everyday over and over and over again. Um, and as like, this is kind of some of the conclusions in one of the later chapters in chapter 10 on guidance, he writes this, through this practice, project, the exact practice of each discipline was surprisingly turning out to be something highly individualized. After all, connection with God is probably the most intimate and personal thing we ever do. And then in the end of the book, in the conclusion, he writes a couple very, very insightful things here. Practicing the disciplines rather feels like a gentle and graceful attunement to seeking God in everyday mess and simple things. In a sense, there is only one discipline, an active response to a loving God. So it's this idea, if you have had a struggle with practicing spiritual disciplines, prayer, fasting, submission, giving, generosity, service, these sorts of things, Nathan Foster can um, relate to you and you could relate to him. And this is a conversation, kind of a memoir about how he has work through that and it's practicing not getting it exactly right every time. I highly recommend this book if that is talking about you.